Good morning lovely witches and muggles and welcome to another witchy vlog. Today our topic is weight loss with magic. So if you're looking to lose some pounds and you're interested in learning how to lose weight with magic, then stay tuned because today I'm going to be sharing a couple of very nifty little psychological hacks with you as well as weight loss spells. And I know what you're thinking, losing weight with magic, which please. But I do have the science to back me up. The real science, not the pseudo one. But before we get in all the whys and what's and hows, let's look what we have planned for today. If you know my channel, I am at the moment not very happy with my body, with my weight especially and with my fitness levels. Just with the pregnancy I went through and then just not having time to actually care properly for my nutrition. And then of course the pandemic happened and eating, drinking, sitting around. And then of course, out of all things, starting a kitchen with shell, which didn't help the entire issue. So this first half of the year, I really wanna focus on my health and on my fitness. And I wanna take you along and show you how you can lose weight with magic and other things. I wanna share a green witch spell for weight loss with you that includes a ritually crafted tea that I made. And that tea actually does have a lot of medicinal benefits due to the ingredients that I use to speed up your metabolism, to balance blood sugar levels, to curb cravings. And of course it also has a bit of magic in it in order to help you strengthen your willpower to go through with that, to motivate you and to just give you a great start to the day. And here it is. And what I do in order to make this into a spell is a simple kind of manifestation. And I call it feed your mind over your body. So in the morning, I'll sit down and make myself a cup of tea and I sit here in my office, I have my vision board there, which has this um, beautifully dressed lady that can button all her trousers and such, which... It's another leggings day for me. Anywho, I sit there, I just imagine how good I will feel when I'm back in my fitness level and I can fit back in my favorite clothes and I just gonna drink that tea with intention and let it work, it's magic. But now let's see the recipe. Bring my 
Now when it comes to losing weight, I always feel it's very much an issue about mind over body. So if you don't have the right mindset, if you don't have figured out how you work on a psychological level and what is actually the cause of you overeating, overindulging, you won't be shedding those kilos easy. And that's why today I want to show you how you can make a self-reflection weight loss chart that helps you figure these things out and it helps you really dig deep into what will help you lose weight, what will prevent you from losing weight and why you actually do have those struggles in your life currently. And you can use this chart not only for weight loss, you can use it basically for every kind of goal that you might have. So what you first want to do is to come up with a goal and personally I don't like to work with the numbers, I rather work with the feelings, how I feel for example. My goal right now would be to feel more comfortable in my body, to fit back into my clothes and to get to a healthy weight range and to up my fitness levels again. So I write that all down and then I draw a conclusion for that. So what do I have to do in order to achieve those things? So obviously I'll have to do more sports and I do have to lose weight. And the quickest and easiest way to do so is through nutrition and through movement. There we have them. So what I do next is that I will ask myself a couple of questions. When we speak about nutrition, first thing would be like, why am I actually eating? A lot of times is, of course it's yummy, then it could be like out of comfort. Personally, I do eat when I'm stressed. Like I know that when I'm stressed, I, I immediately want to have something in my mouth. I want to have like sugar and I, I just grab something quick and that's um, something that I have to work on. Then I also look at my struggles, for example for me that is if I drink a glass of wine in the evening I know that I want to eat something salty with it and I don't need to eat something at 10 at night. I also look at what motivates me so from on there I can then get to positive affirmations for example. For me it's very motivating when in the beginning I see progress very quickly so I do know that I have to in the beginning work a little bit harder <laughs> And just bite through it or not bite through it in that case. And if you guys are interested in the kind of questions that I have on my thing, I'm gonna put them all in the description box below for you to find. So what I do in the next step is to answer them completely, honestly and to the point and really try to dig deep and practice that introspection to get to the point of things. And from on there, we then can actually look for solution. So I will do a third sheet and first will be mundane efforts or mundane solution to the things. And I go answer by answer, question by question, in order to make sure that I really find a good solution for all the underlying issues or like coping mechanisms and stuff like that. So for example, for my motivations, I might wanna work with a vision board because then it's easier for me to see what motivates me or I might get my favorite dress that I don't fit at the moment. I will hang it somewhere in my bedroom so I see it every day. For my struggles, I will just say, okay, I'm not gonna drink wine in the evenings anymore. I can live with that, that's fine. Then I also looked into quality over quantity. For example, I like, I love food, as you might know. Um, so I don't wanna limit certain food groups. I don't wanna go on a certain diet. I rather eat less of things, so I rather count calories. That's fine with me, I can do that. There are apps for that. Gonna, that's, that's my plan and I'm gonna find a workout buddy, stuff like that, because I know it motivates me more if I have to answer to someone, if I have some kind of accountability and someone is actually waiting for me to do the workout with them. And what we can do in the next step is to look into a little bit of magic. What we can do with our craft to help our mundane efforts along. So I have picked, for example, for today to work on my stress levels with a little green bitch stress spell. I also showed you the tea before, so that's there to curb cravings for example and to help with my affirmations in the morning. 
And I have a couple of more written down, but I will share this along the way because this will be a bit of a journey and I will probably break this up in more videos over the next coming month. So, and that's how you make a little self-reflection sheet to help you with your weight loss. So in the spirit of being sporty, somewhat, uh, we are now outside and we're just going to play in the snow because when I do sports, I want them to be fun. <laughs> So we're back from our little outdoor adventure. It was lovely and now we're just getting ready or I'm just getting ready for a very cozy, very relaxed, nice little baking afternoon. My brunch and coffee date with two of my patrons. Hi Nikki, hi Kayla. And I'm just very excited. We're going to make a little quiche with brown butter and uh, sage and mushrooms. And just gonna chat a little bit about life and kitchen witchery and whatever else is on our minds. So that's gonna be fun. And as you already saw before in my little... So as you already saw before my self-reflection weight loss chart, I am very much a stress eater. So this afternoon I will try my best and de-stress. Just have a... And then after the baby's in bed, I will dedicate the evening to reading and I'm going to make a very lovely honey chamomile toner for my face, which is part of my beauty ritual for tonight. Another part of that will be a pumpkin and honey mask uh, that I have posted already over on Instagram when you see this. And I love honey self-care products because honey in magic is very often used to sweeten someone's feelings. And I don't see why you shouldn't be sweetening your own feelings toward yourself. So you really take the time for some self-care. Yeah. So that you take the time for some self-care, for some me time. And don't feel guilty about sometimes just slowing down and doing something just for your body and mind, which is very important. Furthermore, of course, honey is fantastic for your skin. It has so many benefits, but more on that now.
Okay, lovelies, and that was it for today. I will now go and chill on the couch and read a really nice book and have a nice tea and absolutely ignore the heaps and heaps and heaps of laundry behind me. And I do hope that you found some inspiration or maybe some ideas in this little weight loss with magic spells vlog. And I would be excited to know if you are also on a weight loss journey, if you have any tips or tricks to share. It doesn't matter if it's psychological, mundane efforts, exercise, diet, or of course also weight loss spells. And I'm gonna see you very, very soon back here on my channel in the Witch's Cookery. Good night! And I know what you're thinking. Losing weight with magic, bitch. Oh. <laughs>